Hello Capricorn, this is Joyce of Shadow by Tarot with a little Anya bringing you your tarot love, tea, love, and romance reading. This is January 2021, however, the reading will be considered timeless. Take these messages as they resonate. Leave the rest behind and enjoy yourself on Shadow Bayou. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Hit that subscribe button. Subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Wah! Share my videos. Comment down below. And hit that notification bell so you know each and every time I upload new videos. And go live on YouTube with Super Chat where I answer your questions live. So guys, welcome and let's see what we have for you guys tea today. I am going to pull from the Romance Angels first for you Capricorns and we'll see what is going on. If you would like a private reading with me, please go ahead and email me here, shadowbyutarot at gmail.com and we will book your private reading. Also, memberships are open. Two tiers to choose from. Please check that out, guys. All right, Capricorn. What is up? We have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. We have expressed your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And we have separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. But you see the picture. They miss one another. They long for one another. So what I get is love and separation here. You guys need to take your pride, kick it to the side, whatever the case may be, and reach out to the person that you love. Express your love to them. All right, that's the advice. Express your love. We are using the Everyday Witch for you guys. First one out the gate. Whew. Four of Cups. I'm going to put that to the side. Four of Cups. Somebody's not satisfied. I can see how that correlates with those romance angels. Mm, some of you is a third party situation that caused this separation. You got to go through the union, the three of cups, which in some cases it is truly a third party. And in some spreads, it is not. Traditionally, the Three of Cups is about happy time, celebration with friends, could be even a wedding celebration. Four of Cups is someone who is either bored or needing to decide if they want to stay in this, if they want to accept the offer from the other person, if they are happy or not with the relationship. It just depends on the surrounding energies. But I do feel somebody is going to be mighty sorry for a choice that they made. Okay, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Somebody wants to come in with an offer in the Magician. Yes, yeah, somebody wants to start again. They want to start something that is long-term, long-lasting. Six of Pentacles, I told you. It's sitting right underneath that Four of Cups. Somebody was giving it to. Somebody was giving to two. But they want to come in for a solid commitment. That Knight of Pentacles sitting on top of that Two of Cups. Yep. They just want to give to you now, Capricorn. Or this could be you. We have the Six of Swords wanting to leave the past in the past. Cutting away from third party. Getting away from that atmosphere that is not grounded. It's not stable. 
moving towards stability. Yeah, somebody wants to put the past in the past. They want to work on a new beginning. Oh, yeah, third party's definitely out the door. We have here the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have heavy Scorpio energy here in the death card. Somebody is definitely cutting away from what does not serve. Major transformation here. And we have the Fool and Aries energy. Heavy Aries. Somebody could definitely be dealing with an Aries or a Scorpio. That's the heaviest energies here. And also I'm feeling a Pisces energy. Oh, so somebody's not happy with the little pickle they got their self in they letting go of third parties looking and waiting for the opportunity to come towards you they want to start working on something solid long term and committed they love you yep this person is definitely wanting a new beginning here Let's see. Uh-huh. Reconciliation is next in the judgment card. Singing by the beat of a new tune. We have the seven of swords. And we have the three, I'm sorry, the four of wands. It looks like they're trying to sneak out of a situation. Because look at the Six of Swords here. And look at that Seven of Swords. It looks like they're trying to sneak out of a situation. They don't want someone to see what they're doing. So they might not be very honest. And you see in the Death card, the mask. And someone severing ties. They may not be truthful to whoever this third party is about why they're leaving them. So that's for some of you. Keep that in mind. We're going to get the advice from the Angel Answers Oracle for Capricorn. All right. Let's see what came out. Got four that came out. All right, we have forgiveness. Somebody wants your forgiveness. We have you're ready. So you're ready to forgive this person and leave the past in the past. They're saying to trust the situation. You will have abundance. So there will be some healing done between you and your person, Capricorn. Keep an open mind. They're saying that you are ready. And that it just takes forgiveness to receive your abundance. That was your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. If it resonates, leave comments in the comment section below whether it did or not. So thank you for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.